Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens of Once Upon a Game, and today we're going to take a look inside of Sherman Leader, the latest from Dan Person Games. Uh, this was a Kickstarter that uh, uh, just released a few in the last few weeks, and they've uh, it's the sequel to Tiger Leader, which was the first of the tank uh, leader type games. And in fact, they've now uh, I don't know if they renamed the series or just more um, formalized the series as Tank Leader. Um, and the thing is, they, with Sherman Leader, they introduced, I guess, some changes. And when you get this, it includes the Tiger Leader Upgrade Kit, which is going to take your first version of Tiger Leader and bring it up to the Tank Leader uh, standards. And you'll see that this is uh, attached right here in the box. So, I do not have Tiger Leader, so I have no concept of what this is adding or taking away. So for this, we're just going to take a look inside of... Uh, Sherman Leader, but just do know that you, uh, if you do own Tiger Leader, I believe you can get it, uh, for the upgrade kit, upgrade kit free uh, for the cost of postage, or if you buy Sherman Leader, you'll get the Tiger Leader upgrade kit anyway. Okay, so now we're going to take a look inside the Sherman Leader box. Um, this takes, uh, whereas Tiger Leader was the German side, the Sherman Leader is going to be the American side. So remember, Sherman, not German, and then I'll, uh, I'll help you remember what you're playing. If you need to remember that, you're more confused than I am. Alright, so let's take a look inside here. Doo, 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 doo. There we go. Alright, first thing up, you get the Sherman Leader uh, book. It's a, the rule book. Uh, it is full color, 28 pages, glossy stock, um, large print. So pretty easy probably to go through. Um, sample game starts on page 23, so it's about 20, it's really about uh, 22 pages of rules and some optional rules credits, and then you get to a sample game. So uh, not, a, not a lot of rules to read. And again, it is large print, like most of the leader games. Uh, pretty well laid out. Um, my primary experience is with uh, Warfighter, which is you know the same general vein, cards and. Uh, and uh, movement, so uh, you know, cards counters, uh, moving across a, this in this case, card card driven board. Um, so uh, should be pretty pretty well laid out. Um, again, like I said, it's full color. So there's lots of examples, with arrows, so on and so forth, to get you through it. So that's what you get there. And then we've got a skills reference chart. Oh, the sideboard, I guess. A little, a little wrinkled. It came out of the box. A little bent up. Very glossy. Uh, not too much of a fan of glossy because it uh, can reflect light. But uh, this is not too bad. It's kind of a semi gloss. Uh, you get your uh, skills, you get your hit explain. Explanations instead of your explanations, it's explanations. Um, Germany tank types, Japan tank, tank, tank types. All right, you got your mounted board. Mounted boards are, of course, awesome. And that's a good, nice small one, just a two by two. So we'll take that, take a look at that real quick. You got a map superimposed on this. Um, campaign setup. Some uh, bring that down a little bit so you can see it there. Some notes on there. Special conditions, event deck, battalion card. I'm sure this is very familiar to all of you who've played other leader games, um, but it is here. Got a chart here for the enemy tactical movement, enemy operational movement. I don't know how these games compare to Patton's Best, which is uh, kind of a you know one tank simulator. Uh, moving through uh, through Germany doing battle, um, so I don't know how these play relative relative to that. They're both solo friendly games, so um, obviously this is more gonna have more modern uh, game design than the uh, than that one from the 80s. All right, so we got four sheets of counters. These are uh, about three quarter inch counters, and they are uh, pre rounded, so you just Punch and play. You don't have to do any clipping, which is not always nice. Uh, you can get right to the action. 
Um, so we've got some units here, some markers. Um, they appear to be well registered front and back. Um, Panzer threes, Panzer fours, Stugs, rifles, anti tanks, machine guns, German forces. I guess you got some Americans here as well. They're green and gray. Okay. And then the fourth sheet is a bunch of uh, just markers, things like that. Uh, might be some damage markers here. Draw for damage kind of thing. We will see. In the rules, obviously, you got turn marker, tactical move marker. All right, so quite a few counters. They're all the same size. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So 88 counters per sheet. Four sheets is 330 something. Think, Kevin, think. 320, 352. All right, I think so. All right, then we have uh, terrain markers, and it does not tell me how many sheets you're going to get of these, but they are superimposed with impassable armor and light armor. Tank, half track, and armored car cannot enter. Uh, they are marked. They have arrows to, I guess, indicate where they go on the main game board. Punch out, seeing the nice thickness. So apparently, we have some snow. Not snow, winter, spring, winter, spring. Winter, spring, summer, fall. All you have to do is call. And the tank will be there. So you get one, two, have an airstrip, three, we have an oasis, four. You know, you have, those are four terrain tiles. They actually do say. Should say they actually say sheet four of eight. So you're gonna get eight of these. It was very, very faint in the corner there. When you get to the desert ones, you can see it a little more clear. All right. So you get desert tiles, some more grass tiles, some bocage on the back. More desert. Now we have an oasis. And then some buildings and some rocks. Okay. You get eight terrain tile sheets. You get four counter sheets, eight terrain tile sheets. Now I have a player log sheet, of which there is only one, so you're going to want to photocopy that. Two ten sided dice in a nice blue color that roll double fives, and a white six sided die. That is kind of, kind of dinged up. I mean, you know, everybody has like a million six sided dice, but this is going to be. I don't know if it's intentionally done that way to look like it's war affected or it's actually one of the worst not the worst I've seen a lot worse but this is a pretty pretty horrible die so I don't know what happened here doesn't matter it's standard six size it's not a special custom die but it's got some deformity to it I don't know if you can see that or not a little notch out of it so Interesting, okay, but it's a die and it works. And then we got cards decks and decks and decks of cards. And some very nice artwork on them, a lot nicer than uh, than uh, photos. I like artwork better. So we got some tankers here. And we'll just open a set of these up and see what you get. I'm seeing Danker on both sides, so. Alright, so yeah, he's double sided. So he's a veteran and ace. Ace there. So you get different versions of the same character as they go up in rank. Okay, very nice artwork. I like it. I like original art. Reisner, Dart, Kelly, Barry, Rubens. Yeah, Bob Rubens. Uh, Smithers. Yandi. Cool. Alright. This is your tanker. Tanker cards. We got some uh, event cards here. Let's see what that gets you. Okay. 
Do all that. So now those are campaigns. All right, so we do have some event cards. Clear skies, no adjustments. Proven in battle at the end of the week. Each shaking commander in your command gains two experience points. So you're proven in battle. All right, so we get event card. And then, as we saw on the game board, special conditions. We have special condition cards. Let's say add two tanks to each battle. Or you may add a unit for half cost rounding up and it's green commander to your command. So just different special events to change things up. And then we have some objectives. All right, this is an offensive objective. You get uh, 45 SO points, eight weeks. And each week you gain eight SO points. And uh, after your victory points, this determines how well you do. So that's your mission. Holding action. Okay. Very nice, good quality. Kind of glossy. Might want to sleeve them. I, I, I won't. Um, and then we got campaign cards. So you have a Japanese campaign. We got a German campaign. The Japanese campaign looks like it's got three cards. Saipan, Okinawa, and Philippines. And the Germans got North Africa, Italy, the Bulge, Normandy, push to the Rhine, race to Berlin. Cool. And then here it looks like we've got more uh, crew cards. We got some tank cards and unit cards. So I'm not gonna open all of those. But you get a feel for what you're getting in the box. So you got five decks of cards here. I should put those back in. There's five of those decks. Okay. And I'm gonna leave those out because I don't want to get messed up. You get three dice. Maybe yours is in better shape than mine. A player log sheet, which you will photocopy, obviously. Eight. Sets of terrain modifier tiles. There's two on each one, so you're gonna get 16. 16 of those, and you're gonna get four sheets of 88 counters each. A nice small game board mounted, very good. A sideboard with your objectives, campaigns, battalion, commander, unit cards, etc. And a 28 page full color rule book. That is what comes in. Sherman Commander, or excuse me, Sherman Leader, the newest in the tank leader line from Danverson Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.